Well, hello there. You are watching the world of music and books. Well, the other way around. The world of books and music. And I am doing a concert review that I went to see a couple of weeks ago. And that is Skunk and Nancy. And Skunk and Nancy, if you do not know who they are, um, and you're like me, you've been living under a rock or anything else, I heard of them. I heard of them for years. Hardly their old stuff before, but I went back and listened to them, and they were really good. Uh, they made a string of hits and a string of albums during the mid-90s. This is a um, couple of them, Paranoid and Sunburn in 1995. Nearly got the year wrong. Stwash in 1996. Um, Post Orgasmic Chill in 1999. And then they had a bit of a 10-year break and... They released a, a, a song um, album called Wanderluster, um, which is their big comeback from their big 10-year hiatus. And then Black Traffic in 2012. Uh, Wanderlust was released in um, 2010. And then their 2006 album, they, have, they are in process of making another album. And this one's called Arkari Teacher. Can't pronounce the name properly. In 2006. Um, so yeah. That's their album so far. They are known as a alternative rock group. And the lead singer Skin has been pretty much around. She's been a DJ uh, most of her life. Well, not most of her life, but when she's not working with Skunk and Nancy, she's done a lot of DJing in in her time. And she's been performing at univers universities. Skunk and Nancy did, did as well too. One of my course friends' um, boyfriend, who is also one of my friends, um, the guitarist um, is actually one of his, one of his lecturers. And they, man Skunk and Nancy, managed to perform at my friend's university. And I was like, why can't we have that? So it was like, you know, I've known a lot of people who are older who went to see Skunk and Nancy in, in the 90s when they were at university. And I'm like, I'm in university. Why not I go see them while I'm at university? So I went there and and see them. I'm a... I always been a fan when I saw them live before. When, when I way before I went to see them, I have been a fan. I love Skins music. Um, so yeah, um, I love the support groups. I really enjoyed the first one where they have a girl and a boy, and their music's really have that vibe of Wolf Alice and. I think the Artec Monkeys with their um, latest album, they have that vibe. And it's like that vibe keeps going and going and going. But they remind me a little bit of Wolf Alice and more Wolf Alice. And then when, while they're playing, it kept with the vibe of Wolf Alice throughout the whole show. So a mixture of Wolf Alice and Kate Bush. A little bit. I can hint a little bit of Kate Bush in there, in music sense, but mainly Wolf Alice. The support groups were really. The second support group were really, really good as well. Uh, the lead singer, they were fantastic. Um, very energetic. Really brought the roof down and everything else. And they, the, the whole group reminded me of um, a little bit of ACDC and a little bit of Razorlight as well. And they, they were a fantastic group. I was immersing myself in an actual party when I watched them. And while Skunk and Nancy were playing, um, the lead singer was in the in in the crowd, and I managed to squish them in. And I told them, said, "You are absolutely amazing." And, and they were like, "Thank you." Oh, it was 
absolutely incredible. And so one day, if they are Jules Holland, I'll be like, I let I let them be in the front row. I let them be in the front row when they're trying to get to the front row. And I met them. They're really nice. And then Skunk and Nancy came on. Skin remark. Skin's outfit with the big wig and the green jacket, um, it reminds me so much. The wig reminds me of Ursula from The Little Mermaid, but it got a very interesting kick. And I was a little bit, you know, down in the dumps a little bit. Um, I just moved back from my Easter break because uh, I live in Nottinghamshire and I moved back into Lincolnshire for uni. Um, so I was a little bit down, a little bit homesick. So it was the main reason why I went to see Skunk and Nancy so I can overcome my homesickness. Um, I saw, um, Skin looking at me through the audience, giving me like a scary face and pointing me through the audience. Cause how come from that experience I had, Skin is one of those type of lead singers who she, um, if they are, if you had a shit day and a really down day, she'll point at you in the audience and give you a bit of a, a, a smile on your face. And I was just cheered up straight away. And I, they, she was just a wonderful, wonderful performer and got a great voice as well. Like her voice was beautiful and the stage presence Oh my God, I was just so immersed into the whole band and everything else. And she had another um, female performer as well who was playing the drums and the keyboard. And she comes out singing and dancing. Absolutely fan-bloody-tastic. And it was so beautifully well done. The, the guitarist was just amazing. He was spotting me through the audience. I was like, uh, this is what I do with bands. This is what I do with bands. I always wave at them. I was like waving at them to see if they notice me. And you shouldn't really do that because they're focusing. But I don't care. I just like. And then they would just notice you and like, oh. So it was just absolutely incredible i really enjoyed their company um i really was a bit disappointed when they didn't play secretly they played another song that i will murder the name but um let's see uh, yeah that's from Kanazi. wikipedia will do the kick um they played just because you feel good that was an amazing song live really really amazing song live they play weep which i was really happy because i really like that song twisted was just the best song ever and of course my my real big big favorite massive favorite of out of all the skunk and Nancy, that is ugly boy and when they were playing that song, that was just amazing. And I, when they normally play Charlie's Big Potato, and they always play that as an intro because it had a really interesting kick into it and all sorts. But this time they didn't play that song first. They sort of play it near the end, which is still good. I think it's still. I think it was a lot better then because. Uh, she was just bringing the whole roof down and everything. The The tour was their 25th anniversary. Well, 28th anniversary. 28th or 27th. They were meant... It was meant to go on tour um, about three years ago. And due to COVID, it had to be postponed. Um, but I still went to see them live because I'm a massive fan of their music now. Every time... I just need something mellow and just when after sessions, I need something mellow just to listen to. I was just like, you know what? I'll play um, Skunk and Nancy and play like secretly just to mellow myself down and everything else. And like, I love songs that are mellow, you know, 
Um, I listen to a lot of um, ambience music, which is beautiful. And I listen to Cobra Kai's soundtrack, which is oh, dramatic, but brilliant. It's the, it was on that final, it was on that last episode where the two girls were competing each other. And it had that very nice Japanese vibe going on in midway of the song, like that real peaceful sound. If you even watch Cobra Kai, you will remember that scene. It was just beautiful. And the soundtrack, I just listened to it every single day. So, yeah, overall, I personally love Skunk and Nancy. I think I would go see them again and bring friends with me because I told a lot of people about Skunk and Nancy. And saying they're like the best band live. They were incredible. Their music was really badass. And they they even they mellowed it down. It's still good. Um, their merchandise was quite expensive. I'm not going to lie. It was cost £25 for a t-shirt. Even it's like merchandise. £25 is quite a lot. Um, I've just bought their Blu-ray disc. I bought their Blu-ray disc which is... £10 and it was like their live acoustic set I absolutely adore it it's beautiful and really well written and of course um, about a week ago I went and bought these three beauties there so yeah overall great band live and I would definitely go see, see them again thank you for watching um follow me on instagram which is the link down below um i am also an actor as well so you can watch me on my youtube not my youtube channel my instagram where i always update my acting material also um you probably not can't really see because of the camera angles um i'm planning to lose some lose weight and build more muscle so if you go and follow me on my fitness Instagram, the link is right down the bottom below and it will be on there continuously in all of my videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next pos possibly like a album album review or an artist review. I am currently listening to an album at the moment. Um, I won't tell you what it is. I always like to keep surprises. But if you got any recommendations on any artists you want me to listen to the whole album to or a certain album by a certain artist, comment down below and I'll see you next time. Bye!